Hi, Maria. Hi. Where are we going? Madeira. I thought to make a quick guacamole, very simple to make. The ingredients are very simple. I've got two ripe avocados from our garden. Okay. I'm going to have, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use two little tomatoes here, but we'll see how we, how we do. Anyhow, avocados, tomatoes, half an onion, three chilies. I've got the dry chilies from our garden, um, and I also use the seeds. We've got salt, cumin. I don't have fresh uh, lemons, so I'm using uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice. <laughs> okay, and uh, on the side, um, I like my guacamole on this super spicy side, so probably put a few uh, dashes of the hot sauce in there. And what else? Um, and a dash of olive oil. The reason why I use olive oil is uh, I just drizzle it over the avocado to keep the avocado um, nice and um, fresh and not browny. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, let's chop up the onion. So here we go. It's delicious guacamole. It's so simple and it really is delicious. Everybody has the way of getting the avocado. Mine is so fun. Just take the out and then I just slice them. Just follow what I'm doing here. And then I just take them off the leaves. Skin, it just goes right off. There you go, it's that easy. They're um, 
400 and I think 450 meters above sea level. We're in a it's considered a farming community, and um, you can pretty much grow everything and anything in the soil here. It's very very rich soil. We have a garden down below, which we will eventually show you guys in future videos. Got some bananas growing right, banana trees growing right now. And um, I guess, depending on what you like to grow, I, I love every type of vegetable and, and fruit. We're going to try to grow a whole bunch of different, uh, not just vegetables, but also fruits, uh, citrus fruits. You know, we got an olive tree down there. We have, um, well, these avocados came from our from a tree down. We actually have, I forget, is it two or three avocado trees. They, they produce quite well. <clears throat> so the goal is eventually um, have a miniature farm. If, if we can, if we get lucky enough to uh, have success growing. Alright, so these chilies are actually from the garden as well. They're, they've been sun-dried and I like using them. I'm going to use the seeds in them as well. In this recipe. Now, I just remember, we gotta put some olive oil over the avocado. Not much. Oh, we need to, I'm gonna say two teaspoons. And I'm just gonna mix that. So we coat it. We're gonna keep them like that until we're ready to mash them up. That's just the one avocado. So again, cut them lengthwise. I twist it, put my knife in there, twist it, take the pit out. This other kind of little smaller so I just cut them in half a quarter so and just peel away. See that? That's how easy it is. These are perfect, perfectly ripe for this recipe. Okay. There's olive oil in there, so I'm just going to stir that. It has been some of that coating. Alright, let's go on with the cherries. These are spicy. Alan doesn't like guacamole, so it'll be just me eating this for the next couple of days with my nachos. Nice snack. You can actually fill up your belly pretty quick with this too. Avocado is very filling. I love it. I can eat it plain. I can eat it on toast. Um, when I make avocado toast, I actually start off with peanut butter toasted. I toast the bread, then I put peanut butter, then uh, the avocado, and then I top it off with some. Um, apricot jelly or um, orange marmalade and it is delicious. Okay, I hope you're getting this footage because I'm, I'm using a new camera here. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so Pepper part. If you're not, um, if you don't like the spice, the heat, it's fine. I love it. So, okay, that will go into the tomato. And the next thing is now I don't have cilantro, so I'm using my fresh parsley from my garden. And either one is, is good. Just chop it nice and fine. Add in that tomato and pepper mix. 
So the easiest thing I find to get the avocado um, in small chunks is by using a, uh, what I call a potato smasher, and that's what it looks like. You can use a fork, it doesn't really matter. Whatever is easiest for me, well, I think this is the best and quickest way of getting it all mashed up. But you don't want it too mushy, you want to have some chunks in there. It does hurt my arm a bit, but I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. That's our Madeiran grown in our own backyard avocado tree. Can I complain about that? So that's the onion in there. Mexican version calls for cilantro, but cilantro is basically coriander, I think is what the Americans call it. Uh, we call it coriander, is coriander and cilantro, or, um, sorry, cilantro, cilantro. We don't, I don't even think in Canada we use the word coriander, although I have heard of it. Um, okay. Now the cumin, I would say you want to put probably, I want to eyeball it, I also will have a small bit. Okay, so that's about a quarter teaspoon of quarter again, there's not really that much. And for salt, I'm going to say one teaspoon to start off. Lemon again. I don't have fresh lemons or limes, so you can use either or. I use fresh, well, squeezed lemon juice. This is actually real. This is not an imitation um, juice. Stir that all up. Ooh, that's spicy. I love it. We're gonna throw that in there. And this is where you kind of just test it to see if it has enough salt, lemon. chilies, the dry chilies, it just, it just gives it that nice zing that I like. I'm going to squirt a few more drops of the lemon juice, and we are just about ready here. And now, the next step is plating. I won't be throwing any of the uh, hot sauce in there because it's got enough heat so I'm gonna skip that part. I'll try it one more time. What can I say guys? Awesome. Delicious. Alright so I'm gonna take you over to the uh, table. Okay we're back. There's my quick and easy guacamole. So <clears throat> I'm serving this obviously with nachos. And I made a delicious iced tea um, with a little bit of um, sparkling water, some mint, and two slices of orange. 
And that's it. This is a delicious way of uh, spending your Friday afternoon and um, chit-chatting, socializing, nibbling away, and I'm sure Alan won't touch any of that, but I'm sure he'll have a little bit of the, uh, the drink. Now, it's not spiked. You can put some booze in it if you want, but we are uh, we're more of wine wine drinkers. That's that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, hopefully you'll be around for the next video. Stay tuned. Time to test. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I'm trying my drink. Mmm. Mmm. Not sweet at all.